I think it's important not to let either people define what your future is and who you are, or your background to define who you are or what you can do. In honor of African American Heritage Month, we want to recognize and celebrate the pioneering efforts of African Americans within the judiciary. These individuals have paved the way for future generations. So we're taking this time to acknowledge and appreciate the contributions of Judge Julie Robinson, Judge Reggie Walton, and Chief Judge Roger Gregory. Well, I started school in 1959 about 60 or so miles west of me, the black kids in that county had no school to go to. So I came up in that circumstance where I realized education was precious. I uh, had gone in to talk to the guidance counselor. I told him, well, I'd like to be a, a medical doctor. And he told me, I just don't think that's a potential that you have. You should think about going to a trade school. And my mother, uh, when I told her that, she became very irate. And she said, you're not going to a trade school, you're going to college. That gave me the appreciation that regardless of what somebody else said to try and define who I was and what I could do, uh, that my parents, my mother and father were going to stick behind me. I decided at the age of five I wanted to be a lawyer. And it never occurred to me, at least in my younger years, that that would be, you know, exceptionally difficult or different or unique for me as a black woman to be a lawyer because really from the time I first started articulating that I wanted to be a lawyer, my father was very encouraging of me. The process of becoming a district court judge is really difficult and unique. I had an interview at the White House and I remember something my grandmother had told me and my grandmother had long since passed away. But I remember her telling me how proud she was to read about Mary McLeod Bethune, who was a civil rights pioneer being invited to the White House by Eleanor Roosevelt. And as I was walking up that circle drive, all I could think of was my grandmother and how I wish my grandmother could be going to that interview with me and holding my hand and walking up to the White House. I remember when a little boy came up to me and he said, you were at the White House and you saw President Clinton. I knew right then that that little boy seeing someone who looked like him came from Petersburg, his neighborhood, was all worth it because then it's not about me. Victory is what happens to the next person, that little boy who saw himself and that he could achieve. And that was the aha moment for me, like, wow, that makes it all worthwhile. I think that a lot of young people can achieve far beyond the success that they may think they have the capacity to achieve. So I think to a large degree, all of us are going to be challenged in one way or another. And I think those who survive are those who are able to deal with those external forces that are brought to bear in our life. And we don't let those external forces cause us to change our appreciation of who we are and what we can be. Mm -hmm.